Good morning. Today is Wednesday, uh, August 31st of 2024, and this is the 213th weigh-in. He's interested in. Oh, is there a baby bunny? Oh, is that what the boy's interested in? Oh, he loves bunnies. Oh, that's a cute bunny. That's a bun bun, you mean monster. Okay, I'm having the weirdest experience in my life. So, I finally tried this natural remedy for mosquito repellent because I get eaten of alive. So, all it is is uh, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and water. And I sprayed it all over my arms and legs. And this whole walk, they've been landing on me and then leaving immediately. Like I feel it touch down, I look down and I see them flying away, right? So that's emboldened me to go down the path, the beautiful path where all the mosquitoes are. <coughs> so earlier I wasn't on the path and they were just bouncing off of me, no problem, one at a time. Every minute or so I'd feel the bounce. <coughs> now, because I'm on the path, they're naturally attracted to me, probably because whatever the carbon dioxide I put out, the clothes I wear, the sweat, the natural musk, you know, just like dimes, mosquitoes be flocking to me. But now, because they can't land, they're just like swarming me. They're just flying around me and they're landing on my shirt and my shorts and I'm seeing them on my clothes and none on my skin. This is nuts. So now the obvious answer is to, uh, cover my spray my clothes too when I go out but my gosh I've never oh well that guy was eating me maybe that guy had a death wish um yeah natural remedies man so many of them are just bs they passed down from families and old wives tales that don't work but I I believe in this one more than I believe in anything my goodness I've never experienced watching them land down and then just fly off me just as quickly as they touch down so i'll figure out the exact recipe but basically it's just vanilla extract and then somebody said to throw cinnamon in there i think that just helps with the smell so vanilla extract cinnamon and then water maybe some alcohol and it wouldn't hurt but so there we are now the only thing is i don't want to walk down the path because i don't like the experience of them swarming me but Obviously, swarming me is a lot better than biting me. So, okay, one love. Well, hello. How do you do? Just uh, went and got my, did uh well, two hour walk with Thor, got my shot, <clears throat> went to Costco to get some chimkin and sushi. That was delicious, and that watermelon. Now Thor is waiting at the top of the stairs because he wants some more chimko, but it was a little too hot, so I put it in the freezer. <laughs> He's excited, so maybe in about 30 seconds I'll go up there before I do my first set. Um, but yeah, nice, nice little morning thus far. Uh, another good night of sleep, seven hours in the bed without Thor, sans Thor, but Hopefully soon. Okay, I'll be right back. You want the chimkin, Thor? Good boy. Okay, let me get it for you. Okay. Good boy. Today is my first day of abandoning daily failure training. So obviously my muscles are gonna shrink, atrophy. I'm never gonna have gains again. Let's do it. So I'm just gonna call my shot on all my lifts. Hopefully I'm able to hit them. I'm going one rep fewer on each lift. And I think on the pull days, I'm gonna keep going to failure every day because I don't think the pull takes as much out of me. Start there at least. 
fast. Now the only problem is like, let's say the front raise, what if I was um, due to fatigue, like limited to four when I really could have gotten nine. And then today, if I aim for three, then I'm like going way away from failure training. Now, a good argument would be if you were that fatigued that you missed your target reps or whatever your, uh, your muscular capacity was, like you were capable of 10 and then you hit five. It's like, if you had that much fatigue, you probably should take another job. You should go lower in reps. So even if theoretically I can hit uh, eight today on the front raise at 40 pounds, if I only hit five on Monday due to fatigue, I probably should take a break again anyways. And then Friday will go to failure. Maybe I hit 10, right? So let's do it. I wrote down all my numbers and that's what I'm aiming for and that's what I'll stop at. Oh, good stuff. There's that squeeze, there we go. Nice. Oh, I feel my trap tensing a little too much. Oh. Yeah, I could actually see my, my trap flexing. So it looks like the trap is doing a little bit of the work. <coughs> but We'll get there. Ooh, that was taxing. Ready move for a seven. Oh yeah. Ooh. Might not be going to failure, but I'm still getting a getting a little stimulus. Still feeling it. Triceps. I think this should be called, yeah, press down. Triceps press down. Are we still recording? Yep. Yeah, I tried to post today's video in the morning. I'm going to try that for a few days and see if uh, the shorts get a little more traction. It's very weird. Um, every night, it's like it gets like 500 views within the first couple hours, and then it just absolutely plateaus, flatlines. And uh, just wanted to see if maybe they would do a little better during the day. Not that it really matters. Uh, scale's still going down, that's what really matters. I'll be able to get a few hours of work in on the app after this. <coughs> Before I gotta make dinner and lift again. Okay, so we're aiming for nine.
Exhale, yeah. Shoulders down and explode through. Um. Oh, yeah. Explode through. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That elbow slash triceps feels good. Oh, I just remembered I was supposed to start uh, warming up today. But no time like the present. We got 50 loaded for the high to low fly, so let's do a couple of warm-up sets. Usually the heavier the weight, the more it makes sense to warm up for that. At a minimum, I can do the, the big back movements and chest movements, warm up for those at least. I can't believe how heavy that used to be. To this, I'll talk a little bit about where my mind's been recently, lately. Okay, that's a lot here. Okay, so um, ever since, what was that, Monday when I had that realization about the tricks my mind was playing on me, ever since then, I haven't really thought about it anymore. It was like once you, either it was just happenstance and that was the timing of it that it had run its course, or once you call out the devil for what it is, it loses power, right? And, once I had that realization, I haven't had any thoughts about whatever, refeeding or changing things up, blah, 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 blah. I've just been focused and other than maybe some brief moments of, you know, fleeting hunger pangs uh, early in the morning and not even hunger pangs, but just like a split thought, a split second thought like, oh, I, I could eat. Uh, other than that, I felt good, felt strong. I noticed I have been eating a little more. So um, last couple weeks I've been eating maybe like 1750, 1800 calories a day on average. And then uh, this week thus far I've been eating close to that 2000. Maybe that helps, maybe a little less fatigue from lifting, maybe uh, not going to striking as much. But uh, man, how about that mosquito thing? If you could have experienced that, oh my gosh. When I was on the path, they were swirling. I mean, I felt like I was pig pen from uh, Charlie Brown and I had all the flies around me and they just weren't landing. They were landing on my clothes because there was no spray. And then I actually had a couple land on my fingers because that was the only place where I hadn't sprayed. I was texting and one of them was on my thumb trying to get some of this delicious blood. So I couldn't recommend that more highly. Um, I think right before this video, you'll you'll have so you'll already have seen the the recipe, the ingredients for that spray. I'll post that probably after the walk video, where I was extolling its virtues. Okay, 
let's uh let's get it going so i'm gonna do seven one Oh yeah. Thanks. Oh. I mean, oh wow. Isn't that fun? Let's try something else. Oh, I really can park my eyes on that. The OG ones. Oh. Aren't these pants just classy? I mean, these things have to be 19, 18, 18, 19 years old. Uh, I haven't worn them in years. They are nice and comforts. Woo! Okay. Let's finish it up, Rook. Oh, huh. See you in a bit. Well, hello there. So I think I just had my most productive uh, inter-workout uh, working set. Most productive four hours. So I was playing around with a test to see if I could use Cloudinary's video player for videos. Like you could request a video from a fellow dater to make sure you can see their, their mannerisms or get them to respond to a certain question, see their personality, get a sense of whether or not you would be attracted to them. So I was playing around on the test video, uh, test video file I had, and the video player was just so unwieldy. And I, I found all the documentation, all the code to help uh, uh, chat GPT and it couldn't do it and it was getting fr so frustrating so I was like ah F it let me just like build it and then at the end maybe I'll use like YouTube because there's a lot of stuff that I have to do right so at like 3.59 I was like I should definitely lift at the latest by 4 I have boxing at 7 I gotta eat and literally at 3.59 it was all done so we needed to go outside. So this is what I um, what I was able to build. Okay, so I send you a date request. It says exactly what time, uh, where you want to meet, uh, where I want to meet, who's gonna pay. Right, man pays, woman pays, going Dutch. So I send you a request. You can accept the date. You could edit the date details, which that was what I worked on yesterday. Basically that you uh, you then get the, the date proposal form and then you get to completely customize it and then it goes into me and then it's almost like a role reversal. Now I have to respond to your date request and you could just keep going back and forth. So that's the edit date details. Then it has, um, which actually now that I say that, technically both sides could get videos, but I'll get to that later. So you you can say, accept the date, edit date details, or you could say request video. So you click request video and a uh, pop-up occurs. It comes up and it says, uh, you know, uh, seeing somebody's face, hearing their voice could go a long way to building a connection or assessing one's connection. So this is an opportunity for you to get up to a 30 second video 
uh, from the other person to see if you think there'd be a connection, to see if you want to go on a date with them. And uh, I, have, I haven't created the list of prompts yet, but there's a drop down for prompts. So something might be like, what's your favorite meal? Uh, what's your ideal Sunday uh, evening? Whatever, you know, all the stupid. Oh, I, I don't think I will go with the stock ones that I see on like OkCupid or Bumble or Tinder. Mine will be more creative. Like, tell me a time you really needed to get to the bathroom. Tell me a time uh, that you got in a car accident. Like just something where there is no script. They Something that in all likelihood they've never talked about this before. So you can actually see who they are instead of their performance, right? Um, and then also there is like a text entry field where you could ask them whatever question you want. Um, and then that would be a way of confirming that this is a real person because I'm not sure if I'm going to get catfished by this person. So I say, hey, I want to hear your thoughts on Neo from the Matrix. And maybe they say, I have no idea who that is. Uh, or they, you know, you, you, you could say, what's today's date, time, and what was an event that happened last night? And that would be also a way of ensuring that they're not using like old photos or old videos. I don't know why I put air quotes around old photos. Uh, but I think it's probably on a subconscious level I was trying to get it. It's not necessarily just that they're old, but just that they're not representative. Okay, I digress. So you you uh, get to choose what you want from the video. Once you do that, I then get a pop-up on my page where I'm waiting, awaiting your response. And it says, hey, I need a video uh, about this topic. Uh, and then I can upload the video. I think most people will be using phones. Uh, there is a way of me recording the video uh, through the person's phone and maybe I'll do that. I'll have to play around with that. That would be cool if it just popped up and then that would, you know, by recording a video instead of uploading a video, it would ensure that it was taken at that moment, which would help mitigate somebody using like old stock videos. If the question, you know, let's say this is a website that runs for years and let's say in 2026, you answered a question about what your favorite meal was, and then in 2030, you're using that same video. So um, requiring them to use their camera instead of uploading would be a way of mitigating that at any rate. So then I take my video, and then I hit hit submit, and then I lose, lose that pop-up. I'm back to where I started with, I'm awaiting your response, and then you get the video at the bottom of your page. And now you can again accept. Technically, you could request another video. I'll probably uh, shut down that button so you can't just keep requesting videos. So, like once you've done that, I mean, we'll we'll see. I don't know how much I, I want to like. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But at any rate, th this this is a huge huge step forward. This is something I've been thinking about for a number of weeks. I thought this would take forever. It's funny how some things you think like, oh, flipping a container. Like I'm already flipping the contents within. Like what's the big deal about a container? And I spent like ten hours yesterday, and I still haven't fixed it. But then like if you hear like a oh, video, like requesting a video and posting it and having it appear like that, that sounds really significant. And that took four hours. So I don't know. It's, uh, it's just one of those crazy things. Also, not to get too much into it, but what a friggin' scam artist my buddy was. Like, God bless him. I know I'm using AI. He didn't have the benefit of AI. But my gosh, man, I gave him so much freaking money. He had so much time. And I mean, I basically started working on this website in earnest when I started eating better. I think it was like two days prior I had gotten the website. So, I mean, we're looking at less than seven weeks. Some, well, we'll, we'll call it around seven weeks. <laughs> And I've gone from what was a very bare bones website that that Fiverr guy made. Um, and really, I think I've, I've like undone or redone all of his code. I, I don't think I'm actually using anything anymore. I think the biggest thing he did for me 
was get me to start using that R sub, which is a way of like editing the code. And I think that's what my buddy used to use. I, I, I remember seeing that screen when, when he would use it, um, that styling. And um, so I think it was more so me just getting empowered to start using it because if I just started from scratch right now, what I paid that Fiverr guy, you know, 660 bucks for, and then I think I tipped him like a hundred bucks. Uh, I, I think, I think I could do what he did like in one day, like no, no problem I, with AI obviously. But so I don't know at any rate, all that matters is I say at any rate a lot and I say, okay, a lot. And I say, okay, a lot. And I say a lot of things and we have fun. And, uh, I'm, I'm a little work tipsy right now, but I mean, how crazy is it that what two months ago, all I talk about how I can't work at all. <laughs> I had no productive energy. The thought of even doing like one errand was the end of the world to me. And, uh, here, here I am just putting in lots of hours and just building and creating and it's getting, it's getting real exciting. And Again, I, I hope you all use it. <laughs> I hope people use the website. So this won't just be like a really cool, fun project for me, but it'll be something that can save lives. Oh yeah, let's do it. Uh, uh. Eat. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely improving on the technique with that. Before, I think I would just kind of move my arms, drive my arms up, and now I can actually feel it's almost like I'm squeezing my chest up, which causes arms to move up. I don't know. I don't know if it actually makes a difference, but it makes me feel good about myself. Oh, yeah. Right after this, I'll grab a little more sushi. I'll have a little fresh homemade bread with olive oil and Parmesan. <laughs> uh, I should also probably walk the boy again so he doesn't manipulate me when I have to go to boxing. Uh, which, with my new micro, my uh, micro, uh, my new uh, mosquito repellent. It is not as uh, much of an aversive prospect. Okay, how many are we doing? Eat. Good times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> One more. Eight. Dunzo. Man, I saw a photo of my nephew today in uh, Houston. Dang, he's jacked. He's going to be 13 in a couple of days, and uh, goodness. Great insertions, great structure, big old traps, big shoulders, looking jacked. Thick, solid, and tight. He, uh, 
He's a badass hockey player and does a lot of push-ups. He's done a lot of exercises from a young age. His dad is a cop who's pretty active himself. Oh. Oh, damn. Yeah, we're doing it, man. This website stuff, I can't believe with very little uh, resistance and no breaks that I was able to go from start to finish on that video thing. I thought that was gonna be far more complicated. Or, it's pretty complicated, far more challenging, we'll say. Oh. Okay, four reps and we're done. Let's get it. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, I love this part. Ow, it hurts so much there on that first rep. Talk about how I should warm up on this one. Okay. Right there. Uh. 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 Oh, man, that didn't feel good. Oh, my. Oh. Maybe I got to give my freaking shoulders a rest for a minute. Hmm. Especially I'm kind of hitting them. Lord, a high fly. Oh. I hate front raises, man. <laughs> you never seem to progress in them. I think there's like too much injury involved. Ah, oh, I wish I could press, but that hurts too. Ah, oh, maybe I should just go lower, do like 30 reps, 20 pounds. Ah, oh. okay, there you have it. We'll see you in a bit. It's hot out here for you, huh, Thor? What it do, what it do. Uh, so, it's just coming along like gangbusters. Got the video functionality, just proved it, fixed a lot of stuff. It's looking good. Um, man, we are in so much trouble with AI. We are in so so much trouble. Everything's gonna change. Oh my goodness. It literally, like, intellectual work, anybody in the laptop class who works on a computer, I, if we survive five years, I'll be absolutely shocked. So even my niece, she reached out um, and asked for help because she's writing a mission statement for this, like, student club she's starting. So what do I do? Do I sit down and, you know, she's reaching out to her, whatever, law degree holding, PhD, uh, doctor of an uncle. And what do I do? I just ask her a couple questions, take down her information, put it into chat GPT, gave her a bunch of options, gave her the whole outline of what she would need within a second. And then uh, she, they're like toiling over which mission statement to go with. I said, uh, chat GPT, give me 10 versions, sent that to them. Then I said, uh, give me five versions. I said, one, if you sound really smart, one, if you're a Christian, one, if you're a school teacher, one, if you're a teenage girl, and one, if you sound like Trump. And I sent it to my sister and my niece and they were cracking up. I mean, it's just so wild. <laughs> oh my gosh, AI, man. Oh. <laughs> and what I'm doing with AI, building this website, like, this is nuts, man. I mean, I'm learning a little bit, but it's still, it's doing everything. Oh, 
and this is in a fairly rudimentary form. Give it six months, give it a year. Probably within a year, all you'd have to do is just, and this, this is what sucks, like competition is gonna be crazy soon with AI. Because you could just say like, hey, I want this dating site. You speak about it for like five minutes and it would make what I've spent weeks building and what would have taken or would take somebody else without AI months. It's just nuts. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Oh, even training, man. We're going to find out what actually causes muscle growth. And I'm sure the way we end up training, it's going to blow our minds as to what is actually optimal. How to ensure we're not doing like jump falling and stuff. I think, I think our ideas on training are going to change a whole heck of a lot. And I'm actually going to guess that going to be one set at a time <clears throat> and probably crazy frequency. So something like one, one set of chest two hours later, one set of uh, triceps one hour later, one set of back one hour later, a triceps movement. It's, it's going to be fascinating. <clears throat> AI man, it's nuts. I mean, even like this channel, at some point at AI, I'm gonna be able to sick it on my channel. And it's gonna create interesting videos that combine, you know, by the, by the end of this, when I'm at my goal body weight, it'll take five minutes for it to put together a video uh, that completely encapsulates my year, or finds the funniest or most interesting moments few and far be between as they might be, but <clears throat> AI yeah, man, everybody always focuses on the moment, where it is now. I'm a trajectory guy. I'm looking to where it's going because that's far more relevant than where it is today. And that's true with weight loss, with anything, right? Would, uh, would I be better off right now, 220 and I'm struggling every day? or 400 and it's easy as pie and I'm feeling as confident as possible, low stress, you know. It's all where you're going, not where you are. Oh man, these suck. Okay, one. I might need to get rid of these. Two. Yeah. Oh. Oof, the elbow. Slip back. That's what I said. Slip back. No, no, no. Slip back. Okay. Five. Oh, yeah. Just douching out, not training to failure, not a care in the world. You can cross over flies. Do eight. Yeah, this video, uh, the videos I posted today, they did not get many views, but I think I gotta try for a couple days in a row to see if it ends up. Uh, <clears throat> causing a little more traffic and then if not I'll just go back to doing it at night. I will say I've gotten used to doing it at night. I prefer to do it at night. But I'm running an experiment. I'm gonna trust the process for me at least a couple of days. <clears throat> going to boxing after this. That should be fun. 
I don't know what I'll do for dinner. I might do some hodgepodge. I might get some chicken and fries going. Still got some sushi. Chickens I got today weren't very good. I only ate one, but yeah, I can tell they weren't very good. Watermelon's good. AI helped me pick that up. You want a real, you want the field spot to be really yellow, like a bright yellow. So the field spot is the spot that is discolored compared to the rest of the watermelon. And then you want a really uniform deep green that suggests it's ripe. There was like eight different metrics, but I just used those two and they chose well. Okay, what are we doing? We're doing eight. <clears throat> Eight. Oh yeah. Slick back. That's what I said. Yeah, still got a good chest pump. Um, as they say, another day, another ounce. See you tomorrow.